Hi, good evening. Um, welcome to Talk Tuesday, um, and it's St. Patrick today. Um, so welcome to all my Irish friends and family out there. Um, my name's Susan, um, and I'm a holistic intuitive coach. Um, I wanted to come on here today to talk about um, um, health, well-being, and mindset. Um, and I had a this morning. I had a different approach. Um, so I've changed it slightly today. Um, and the reason I've changed it is because with all this COVID-19 or, and coronavirus going on, um, as a therapist and coach, it came to me that a lot of people were being sent home, uh, or having, uh, been put into self-imposed isolation. Um, and that, uh, with all that's going on, there's a lot of, anxiety, um, a lot of fear, um, a lot of loneliness, perhaps, anger because people can't get out about and do the things that they want to do, um, loneliness because perhaps some people live on their own, um, they can't get out to get the bare essentials that they need, um, perhaps because they're elderly, just because they're confined to the house, and also maybe fear and fearfulness and anxiety because they're fearful, um, that they might get the virus, uh, particularly if they're vulnerable, um, susceptible, over 70, all of those things that the government are telling us. Um, and also um, because um, they're fearful that they may not be able to pay their mortgage if they're laid off work or they have to go home or they're unsure that their employer will actually um, pay um pay them well the way so there's a whole lot of things going on board so I thought maybe today I'd tell you a little bit about me um, and do you know um, give me some love hearts put some comments at the bottom um, or hashtag replay love hearts um, please to let me know that you're there and obviously any comments uh, of what you think or how I or uh, yeah or I could help or advise you in any sort of way um, so I thought today, um, based on all of those things that I've just said, that um, people may be worried and scared. Um, and as um, a holistic intuitive coach and practitioner, um, I thought if I could tell you a little bit about what I do um, on a day-to-day -day basis, because um, obviously I work from through Zoom um, calls or Skype or um, FaceTime. Um, so for all those people that are having all these worries and fears, um, fearfulness, anxiety, loneliness, um, uh, guilt, whatever it happens to be for you, whatever that emotion is going on for you, perhaps if I tell you a little bit more about me and how, you know, I work, then maybe um, I could be of help for you while you're, you know, in this um, confinement, if you like, or not wanting to go out or unable to, to get out. So here we are. So I'm Susan. Um, hi, I'm a holistic intuitive coach um, and I work through the feeling body with a range of holistic um, and therapeutic um, um, therapies. Sorry, lost my train of thought then actually I heard something. Um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit of some of the things that I do. So um, I'm a holistic or spiritual counsellor. Like I say, working very much through um, the um, feeling body, working with the emotions. And uh, my aim uh, in this practice is to work on um, with people on all levels of wellness, so emotional, physical, mental um, and spiritual. I work on a very, um, been working for quite a long time now in this field um, and um, my work is very, it's confidential um, and I'm very professional and successful in what I do in helping people um, from um, pain to freedom and better health. I work on a one-to-one -one basis and I also work in group therapies um, and I work one-to-one um, -one on Skype or Zoom um, um, and different hours to, uh, to really um, work around your working hours or if you're at home during the day, um, then we can do it during the day. Um, I also do um, mindfulness meditation so mindfulness meditation um, is um, very good for stress, for high blood pressure, for anxiety. Um, what we talk about in mindfulness is um, we allow ourselves to become calm. 
We allow ourselves to become focused on the breath. We allow ourselves to be still and follow the breath in, in, in many of our practices of meditation. But mindfulness is about being aware of where you are and what you're going through and being accepting of that. Um, and this is really where the magic and the healing starts to happen. Um, being non-judgmental of yourself or, or others. And then choosing to respond to, to life rather than react to life. Because half the time we're running around reacting to situations we own, which only causes then further stress. Hi, Claire. Um, only causes us further stress. So our acceptance and enjoyment of the moment is what we work with in mindfulness and meditation. Our awareness, our emotional um, insights and relationships and our attention span and concentration and many many more things are improved because of uh, mindfulness and meditation and it's been proven um, that the immune system um, um, improves and um, high blood pressure which is me is greatly reduced so I need to practice uh, a little bit more of some of those things um, so I also do um, something called EFT and matrix reimprinting, which is also can also be performed over Zoom or uh, Skype or FaceTime. Um, so EFT works through the meridian line. So um, we tap on all these um, pressure points, uh, releasing all the stored up energy. Uh, releasing it so it's um, a visualization a verbalization technique where we are very specific um, um, in working with um, a pain or a feeling or an emotion um, or something specific that's happened to you um, and it is highly successful in treating um, a wide range of things such as changing negative core beliefs uh, relationship issues allergies addictions um, births, traumas and phobia, phobias, but also thinking now, this is a very quick um, acting therapy where we can work with all of those fear, anxiety, guilt, loneliness, um, grief and, and such like. And let's not forget grief here because some people, and I know a couple of people actually that um, have lost people um, during this sort of pandemic of the coronavirus. So obviously there's grief, um, um, um in the mix there as well so you know have a little think about how you're feeling and you know what you're feeling um right now and if while you're in you know a place even if you, you know you don't have to tell anybody even if you just feel like you could just do with somebody to talk to or to get some things off your chest chest particularly if you're getting a little bit panicky then it's always best to talk to somebody whether it's myself or somebody else you know and obviously i usually put um a package um that's individual to everybody together so that you can work through the, through those uh, um, emotional pain, whether um, it's with me, but also, you know, on your own as well. Um, also, I do something um, called uh, spiritual life coaching, uh, self, uh, soul self-discovery program, which is a much longer program over a process of about four hours where we look in depth at you. And I also do... Um, something called a soul plan uh reading uh which is all about the blueprint of your life so uh, we always say when we get to maybe 30 40 we sort of lose direction some people call it a midlife crisis um uh, and i just say it's just your soul starting to talk to you um so i always say to you uh, before i offer uh, a soul plan reading um do you feel like you've lost direction in life um have you lost a sense of who you are um do you question life purpose um, and this is where your soul plan can come in because the soul plan is a is um, a blueprint um, of your life. And we say that within your name and only your name um, is hidden the blueprint of your life. So, you know, what you're meant to be doing here on this um, earth plane and through having a, um, a soul plan reading, it will get you a greater clarity and understanding of a sense of purpose, your challenges um, and your goals in this lifetime. Um, so, you know, I am here and, and, you know, I'm willing and open to questions um, of anybody. Um, if you wanted to think about having a soul plan reading, some hypnotherapy, of course, there's always that, um, which is relaxation of the, the mind and the body uh, so that we can actually regress and get to those deeper core issues um, that are uh, bothering you. Um, you can't seem to shake off. Um, and... Um, 
yeah, very good for all those deep um, issues that are unwanted habits or behaviours um, or personal issues. Um, and through hypnotherapy can definitely make positive changes. So hypnotherapy, cell plan reading, mindfulness, meditation, um, EFT and matrix, um, holistic counseling, um, a self, self discovery program. You know, if any of these are you're interested in, please go to, uh, my webpage and have a look at those under therapies. And, um, that is, uh, www, um, minding the soul.co.uk or obviously you can um, um, private message me. Um, if you are watching this on replay or um, not on my page, then you can always jump over to at Minding the Soul on Facebook um, and contact me through that if you like. Um, but I'm here, I don't want people to panic. I just want you to get better relief um, from any of those symptoms that, that you may have. So if you've got guilt, you've got fear, you've got anxiety, you're feeling lonely or grief, don't panic, don't fear. Just pick up the phone or send me a message and if I can help you in any way, then I am more than happy. But talk, not just talk Tuesday, but talking about your problems, getting it off your chest can be one of the best things you ever did. It can be one of the first and bravest steps that you can take for your greater well-being, I think sometimes we we forget ourselves or we become afraid or feel silly and even if you don't quite know what's wrong with you, I don't need to know because I work with the feeling body. Um, if you just say to me I've got a feeling or an ache or a something, we will get to the bottom of that, you know, and we will make all of those emotions fall. Sometimes like dominoes, sometimes when we hit one aspect, then what happens is it starts triggering other ones and other things are relief because somewhere there will be one core aspect of what is going on in your life, you know, which kind of catalyzes out and affects other parts of your life. Perhaps those things have been affecting you for a very long time and you don't quite understand. But once we start unpicking it, like the onion, and all I am is your guidepost. You answer all the questions, you know, I just point you in different directions so that we can slowly uncover the layers that have actually been solidified together for so long in some cases, you know, that you can't even see or understand. And then all of a sudden you have that, aha, that light bulb moment when um, the, 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 the behavior or the action um, that started um, this dis-ease in your body, um, is highlighted. And then when we know what it is, then we can do something about it. And even if we don't immediately know, then we can use the tools that I will give you and we will work with in order for you to slowly work at chipping away at that and um, calming you down and allowing you to see things in a different light and also having um, a more positive mindset. So you're not alone. You know, I'm here, pick up the phone, give me a call. My name's Susan. So please inbox me. I did get a lot of private messages last time. Thank you very much. And I think I have responded to everybody now. Um, but if you've got any further questions off that, then please let me know. Remember, you know, when it's safe to do so, we can do this on to one to what on a one to one. Um, but in the meantime, we can do this over Zoom or Skype. And if you haven't got Zoom or Skype, or Facebook, so I can help, not Facebook, FaceTime, I can help you download Zoom and I can help you download um, Skype as well. And it's very easy and it's just as efficient as working face-to-face. Uh, -face. So questions, um, please fire them to me, love hearts. Um, hi everybody, thanks for tuning in and um, hopefully we'll, I'll get to hear from some of you very, very soon um, on this Talk Tuesday and St. Patrick's Night. Have a lovely night and rest of your day and evening and uh, love to you lots.